Well, we are here with Massimiliano Favel. Hi. <laughs> um, the uh, completely connected to the Franco Serblin fa uh, family. To quickly resume, for those of you that are too young, Franco Serblin was the creator of Sonus Faber, and uh, he created the legendary products like the Guarneri, the Stradivari, and uh, uh, the Amati. So he's a legendary man, um, recognized by uh, all like an icon of uh, high-end audio, and we have his wonderful memorial picture here, uh, which uh, brings a lot of emotions to me too. Yeah, me too. Um, anyway, Franco one day decided he wanted to do something different, and Massimiliano and him created Laboratorium. Um, I think that uh, uh, it is really, uh, every time I'm, we hear or the people that understand audio and music, mostly music, I would say, than audio, uh, uh, recognize the soul of the of these products. They are uh, very much related to uh, resonances generated around uh, music resonance, don't call it, that are generated by fine instruments. And maybe you can explain a little bit more because you knew him more than I do. Where was the, what was the philosophy of uh, 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 what, uh, Laborator, or what is the philosophy? Uh, uh, of course, is to keep uh, Franco, Sab uh, uh, Franco Sablin uh, image uh, uh, high, high brand in the market, uh, and to to keep the same philosophy in terms to realize uh, be and uh, design speaker project. Uh, because uh, uh, we um, we consider a speaker like a instruments, musical instruments. So it's important to to choose a good material and good um, every, every every kind of uh, detail must to be very uh, nice, uh, aesthetics, so you know. And uh, we have a strictly um, quality standard control for each part that compound. Uh, the speaker, and uh, for this for this reason, we we want to 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 remain in the same size company uh, without to expand too much, because you you know you lose uh, if you grow too too much. That's it's important, and uh, of course uh, this kind of product requires a lot of attention. To, to build, to uh, to manage, and um, to find good material, raw material, and uh, that's all. Well, I think this is very much in line what to expect from anything from Franco's. It's it's really the instrument make, and it's almost like a tribute to yeah. all the people of Cremona yeah. uh, building instruments in such a way that. Uh, uh, Many people later on tried to do the same instruments and could never achieve that goal because this was an art generated yeah, yes. in Cremona. Yeah. And am I right to say that Franco was really inspired by, by Cremona? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, because uh, he likes uh, music uh, and uh, especially classic music. Uh, he listened uh, to very, very uh, good music and uh, um, Cremona. Uh, I think uh, Guarneri um, was uh, one of the best uh, uh, new shape uh, solution for the speaker, and uh, he, he was, I think, uh, the first uh, design that uh, uh, completely changed the way to build uh, the, the the cabinet of uh, each speaker. And uh, today you can see that uh, many manufacturers seem. And your products are, or the products that uh, you've designed yeah. with them, are yeah. an Always. extension, an yeah. extension yeah. of yeah. that. Yeah. The shape, the yeah, new yeah. curves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I agree, because uh, uh, Franco was a, 
please, uh, uh, I think, uh, uh, was a train every day, uh, or motion. He, he, he was uh, able to to, to think uh, new new shape, uh, new new solution, uh, um, speaker sound uh, um, every day, every month, every year. It's a, uh, this is a, Franco was uh, the best. I, I think um, so my. My years in the industry, I'm going to define my uh, my perception of a laboratorium. Uh, it has to be treated like with the same respect that people uh, treat St by a Steinway or Bosendorf or any music instrument of that caliber. It's something for life, and uh, uh, it's it passes the test of age. It's uh, it's something that once you buy, you can be proud of owning such yeah. such instruments. So um, you sort of answered a few minutes ago or a couple of minutes ago a question I was going to ask you. So there's no risk of you turning into a high volume commercial. Absolutely, okay. absolutely not. I want to keep in the same size, you know, and uh, this is the only way to to manage this kind of product, this kind of business. And of course, I much uh, respect of Franco, you know, legacy. And uh, for me, sometimes it's hard to go to to move uh, to go on with the, this uh, uh, important name. And uh, I have a very sneaky question for you. Yeah, what? Do you think that Absolute Sounds, my company, and uh, Laboratorium is a good match? Yes, yes, because uh, I think uh, you are good friends of mine, and uh, uh, I think uh, the first thing... Yeah, but the way to market... Yeah, yeah, the first thing, uh, it's uh, a human relation, and then come business. Business, uh, if you have a good relation, uh, you have a good business, I think so. Uh, and I hope uh, you are... No, but you are we good caretakers? Good? Caretakers, all the... Yeah, 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 okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do we, do we, because uh, yeah. my, my feeling is a lot of companies buy products just to sell them yeah. without without understanding really what these products are. In other words, uh, I think that uh, uh, our, our relation is uh, more important because, um, of course, uh, we are a different age, but it's important uh, to feel good uh, when you meet a person. It's important uh, because if you feel good, your business is good. <laughs> it's, it's true. It's true. I think in this way. So that people will know, I forgot to say, um, uh, Absolute Sounds was the very first person to discover Franco Serblin and to export it to the rest of the world. Is that correct? Yeah. And, uh, and we're so happy now to be completely in uh, Franco-Serblin. Yes.